been a lovely day today and I've been out for a little bit of a cruise. I go back to a man tomorrow. I've had, I've had a little over a week, a week and a day. And uh, I, you know, there's a friend that's joined me on the boat for, um, for just a bit of a cruise today actually, it was lovely. Just went up there, three locks, come back three locks. And what I liked about it was, well because it's not a vlog, I didn't have to do any filming. And I really enjoyed just chilling out, enjoying the sun. Okay, it's gone in now, typical. But it's been a lovely day and uh, thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, but the point is about not filming, strange I had to tell you on a film. Uh, but there we go, um, back, back to a man. Um, but it's an introduction to um, a chat I've had with Colin because we've had to, uh, well Colin's got to do his own thing now and I've got to do my own thing, which is a great shame and I've, I'm gonna miss him. And uh, anyway, so run the VT, as they say. It's gone, it's gone on a blink, isn't it? What's gone on a blink? Well, I mean, no, it doesn't well, well, I mean, There's me fuck. Did you kick it? No, I haven't <clears> touched <throat> anything. Shut up. What you got on there? Well, okay, all right. Because I was bent going that way. I'm gonna have to sidle up to you. Oh, right then. Oh, I can go over a bit, and then we're all on the piss, are we? So I've moved me bum a bit. No, no, that's fine, that's fine. There you go. But, but, there you go, how's that? Welcome, oh, welcome. Oh, I'm sorry. Shut up, I thought you were just testing. It's a good start, get him. Welcome to the vlog. It's a long time so I was, oh, it's a long time since I've done any vlogging um, because I've been away and now I'm back. Um, but I, I think I, ought, I owe it to you to understand what I've been doing and how I've been and all that sort of stuff and I think I can lower that camera a bit. Um, so whilst I'm doing that, Colin. Yeah. Hello Chris. Just lower it a tad. There we go. I have, I've been abroad, I've been to a man. Those of you that have done the Insta bit, um, understand that. Those of you that haven't done Insta or follow me on Insta, perhaps you could. Uh, the descriptions, it's in the description. Um, I've been in a man, and, and the reason why, well, I, I just wanted to try something, I just wanted a job. And, um, and the job I'm doing is a little bit of coaching a little bit of teaching, a little bit of facilitation, a little bit of um, marking um, assignments that they have to do. Uh, we're on a program where I am on a management and leadership program um, for OQ, which is um, Omani, Oman. I don't know what the Q means. Caboose. Know. It was. It was one of the. It was the. The, the king of a man, oh, right. so um, oil and gas, government run, that type of thing. So, I'm I'm teaching, facilitating, teaching management and leadership for, for um, those managers, leaders, directors, and all that sort of stuff. Uh, so that's what I'm doing. I'm thoroughly enjoying it. It's um it's, uh, I'm being thrashed, aren't you? <laughs> um and you know quite rightly so because I've got to learn the ropes and, and um, you know, it's, it's one of those things. I've been, I've been back um, a week and, uh, well not quite a week. It's a week on Saturday and I'm flying out again Sunday. Mm. I can, it, is it only that amount of time? Yeah. Shoot. I know. That's amazing. Yeah. So what was the first thing you thought when you come back to the boat? It didn't like not being used. Yeah. Because my um, Robasto, didn't fire up, didn't it? No. And um, the gas didn't work, so I faffed around with that. Wow. Um, what else? It was, it was just, it didn't like not being used. Well, you've never been away from it. Not for a month. Mm. Been a couple of days, but not a month. Um, so now, you know, I've, I've, I've used it and, and all that sort of stuff, so everything's back to normal, but I'm only away for two weeks. And I think that the plan is, is I'll do two weeks, two or three weeks there, a couple of weeks back, and well, a couple of weeks, a week or so. 
So I'm coming back every so often. Hence the reason I'm in a marina. Hence the reason I need to plug in. Yeah. Um, and hence the reason, unfortunately, mm. that we've got to go. We've got to part ways. We do. We do. And I'm um, sorry because I really wanted to travel down to the K&A. Yeah. Um, but time is against me. And not only that, I've done some research when I was in a man and I, I wrote to a number of... Um, marinas and there's no room in the inn what have you learned in in our i would say short time because it's february march april three mm. months three months on the boating side i mean there's just a few things which really come to mind i think one of the there was the call about the uh the generator that was fun just, oh yeah yeah, yeah, yeah yeah we did that but yeah. i think we've covered that elsewhere but one of the things which was really good was when we first went shopping and we went into I don't know which one it was but one of them Daventry yeah probably and I was there and I went oh I haven't got a coin to get one of the carts or whatever they're called over here shopping trolleys shopping trolleys um, and um, you just admit well you don't need it well I went well yeah of course you do I'm not pushing all that stuff around anyway and it was became abundantly clear then after saying look you need a basket so handed me a basket he said um, if you fill that up that's all you can carry and I went I got it and it was all to do with the size of the backpack yeah and all of that yeah and that was for most people it would be I don't know whether you'd ever think about it yourself on your own but I could I could just see myself with a bloody great cart with it all in and shopping then going, trolley. now what I do? Yeah, I know it's a shopping trolley. Don't you start that. <laughs> I've been in America for a while, so <laughs> there we go. So it's a, it's a car. Anyway, um, interesting. Oh, what are they called on the on the um, the internet? Don't they call them a shopping cart up Basket. in the corner? No, they have a little shopping cart and they well, call it a the cart. Internet. Yeah, exactly. So anyway, um, so that was one of the, the things on that. But the other one, which was really good... I kept on putting things into my basket, which wasn't on my list. And you came along and you said, did, did you have that on your list? And I went, no. And he said, well, there you go. If you really think you need it, that's fine. But if you don't, don't take it. And if you find out you do, ride the five miles here and the five miles back again tomorrow. Then you'll find out whether you really need it. And that was another very good lesson. And there's just little gems like that that keep popping up with us being together. No, well, no, I, the, the, the point is, yeah, I've been doing it a little longer. Oh, you have, yeah. Uh, and um, I, I think we rub each other in the right way. Yeah, I think so. Uh, you know, you're um, technically focused, you're mechanically focused. Um, so I've used you on a number of occasions to fix stuff, you know, generator, um, I, I, you know, I've had a bit of a drama with the water tank, uh, which was squared away because of you. And, and so I, th I thank you for that, mm. which is great. Yes. You, you know, and what have I brought to you? Well, the, a different side of life. There's just so many things. I mean, the, the fact of how we came together, which was just yeah, on yeah, the yeah. vlogs and me spotting you doing your thing. Um, and it was interesting to see which m most of the people beat me to it but I saw a lonely man on a boat in the cold and over here on a boat and you were clearly somebody who thinks to take somebody else's time I always feel I have to be able to give something to that person and I like the two-way street of that, so that there is learning on both side or giggles both side. That there's, you know, there's a two-way street there. And I could see some of your cooking, and some of the things that you did on the cooking, and you were making out that you were. I think I found out less of a cook then than you really are. And I think that was funny because I'd seen the two sides that perhaps not everybody here has that you're quite an accomplished cook anyway and you do know a lot about the cooking side of things and I luckily never 
I've tested it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we're going to test some soon. Yeah, well, yeah. So, yeah, so that, I'm well. looking forward to that. Yeah, yeah. but I, I've but I've eaten two or three things that you've cooked, I think, and absolutely fine. But it more than fine. They were good. Um, but yeah, it. I think I've always had a leaning towards the appreciation of people who are in the mil military. Um, I spent some time in the TA, so I recognised some of the stuff which was there. Territorial Army, reservists. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, good, 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 yeah. <coughs> yeah. Um, and it's it's that people who were, which we've, we, which we've talked about many times, people who run into something where the rest of us would run away from. So firefighters, they run into the burning building, we try and run out of them. Um, and it, people who do the military side is incredibly special and I, and I think it's, I've always liked um, military management, I've read a lot about military management so to take it into my business life and so on. So there was a whole bunch of stuff like that and you did something which was on, on the vlog um, which was all around uh, mitigation of risk. And understanding risk and we've had subsequent conversations about that and it's just a completely different way of viewing the world I viewed it from a business point of view and you have that other perspective and that's what makes you very interesting to be around that's why everybody's watching you I think well I like the fact that I am different yeah I don't so think do I many people like the fact I'm different because if the well the algorithm doesn't um, <laughs> <laughs> no, that's another thing you know so yeah. if I find someone and um, they spend some time with me on the boat and um, I think the algorithm will pick up because it likes the algorithm likes women yeah and and the normal of a couple yeah and, and uh, yeah you know someone's someone's done a vlog on that actually if you want to get more subscribers one have a story Yep. Generally speaking, I don't. Uh, two, have something interesting. Well, I live on an narrow boat. It's generally not. But those who are interested will will watch it. Mm -hmm. The other thing is, the algorithm likes couples. Yeah. And whilst I've stated this a few times on my vlog, saying if I had, to, you know, if I was with somebody, then I would, you know, I, I'd recognise I would get more more mm. views. Uh, I am who I am. I can't change who I am. I think you've seen a different side of me in the last 10, 15 minutes prior to the camera coming on. Yes, I have. And, and the reason why we can't show it is because it was just music orientated and you can't play the music. Um, again, I've got an elect a, a number of different music things. Genres. Eclectic is what he's looking <laughs> for, I think. <laughs> I I have a number. Yeah, what's it? E e eclectic. That one. I a number of different artists that I like, um, from classical to to rock to heavy rock, and all the other names I don't even know, uh, and all of that in between. Mm. Yeah, seventies, eighties, <clears throat> nine. Not so much nineties, seventies, eighties. Really, they they were classic years. Yeah, they were. It's warm in the car, and um, I need to know where I'm going. I'm, I'm going that way, but I don't know how to get there. Down that way, and then do a UE. I don't know any of the rules of the road, other than I don't want to speed. There's speed cameras down that way, I've been told. Just. Google Maps. That is, that is the Amani Parliament, ooh, that's a bus, that's the Amani Parliamentary House in there. Where are we going, Brooke? Left or right? Brooke, where are we going? <laughs> Take the left. Right, down there. Yeah, I know, you're, you're, you're half go. asleep. Could be, you were both. We need to take another Yui. Same, same way. Where are we going now, Brute? Right, right, right. Too busy on your phone. On that hour, I can't tell now. Alright.
you're on your own now, mate. Yeah, I am, and I yeah. think, I think it's there's going to be a good part of that. So um, when I started this all, I was sort of trapped into, and I <laughs> use that loosely into a marina. That's not where I wanted to be. I wanted to be out, going, making my way down. I got caught up with closures and so on, and I ended up in the marina. And again, I could have just had a miserable ex existence in there, but I didn't. I just joined in, whatever was going on, um, played bingo, I won a raffle, and I, there was, I just enjoyed and joined in. But I'm not somebody who would like to have done that. However, I enjoyed it. Hang on a minute. Yeah, go on. You, you've been here a couple of weeks. Yep. You know everyone. Yeah. Down this towpath. Yes, I do. And you know people, uh, you know, where we have breakfast. Yep. You know all of them. Yep. You got involved with all of that stuff down here. Yep. I'll introduce you to Colin. Colin, this is Austin. Oh, Hello, yeah. Austin. Yes, the in, the in crowd, because our names end in, in, don't they? So we're the in, okay, Audrey and Austin. Gina yeah. came oh, with and Colin. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. The in crowd. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have a group cuddle in a minute when it's get really cold, maybe. Who knows? every aspect of society in there with a common platform which was something which floats and that i think is special in the uh, in the canal world it is that the the people make the canals they do and i think crt you need to get a grip because it's not the boats it's not the people that walk the towpath it's the people inside the boats that make I, th I think the the complexity, the the variety, there there is cohesion within the boating community, and it's not cohesion as in everybody sticks together. You are together for short periods of time, and you're friendly for short periods of time. Yeah, that's an interesting way of looking at it. But you it know, is. I've not I've not met many people I don't get on with in the boating community. No, and that and that. That was sort of the risk with teaming up with people because you you then have to spend more than ten minutes with one another or doing yeah. a lock for someone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, this could have easily gone horribly wrong. Well, well, but we could have just ended it quickly. It's easy. Yeah. I'm not shy of having a chat. No, 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 not. no, no. So, what do you think of me? Honestly, yeah. Nice bloke. Nice bloke. That you, that doesn't get any better from Chris. That's it. Uh, and that's that's fine. You're, I mean, that... you're, you're kind. You're thoughtful. Oh, that's nice. You're um, knowledgeable in a lot of areas. I mean, we've had some deep discussions um, about all sorts of stuff. Um, I, I think we talk a different language. Yeah. But the end result is the same. Mm. You know, I teach this, I teach this over in a month. It's, it's about language, it's about motivations, it's about intent, and it's only the behavior that we see. And, and I think, you know, we, we have some deep discussions, we will talk. But that's the interesting thing. So that's what I'm going to incredibly miss. Because being with somebody else who's had a bunch of different experiences, but there's a lot of common stuff that we've done. We come at it from a different way. 
we make each other think differently. Whether we change or not, that's irrelevant because we're not trying to change one another. No. But I know we do. I know you do me. So how have I changed you then? Well, like I said, to thinking about some things in such a simple way. You have the ability to take something which is highly complex, like risk, as an example, and you just nail it in two or three sentences and you make it come alive with some... I think you're fitter. Oh, I'm bloody hell a load fitter. Yeah. Mind you, you're, you're a person who... Yeah, I'd always want you on my side when if there was a fight in a pub. I just... I'm happy around you. Um, because I know you pushing me on. A lot of people wouldn't have taken it. I will. Because I know that the benefit that I was going to get from listening to you push me up those hills. Like all the folks on there saying, well, we should get them an electric bike. That's, that defeats the whole object. Because I am a much healthier person now. And I, I'm not without ailments, which I'm not going to go into. Um, and I am so much better off by that. And you're, you've, you have set up something which I'm going to do for a long time now. Because we've gone out on those bikes and trudged up those hills. The elevation... I have an application which records some of this stuff. I mean, I've probably been to K2 and back. Um, with the number of times I've been up hills with you. And you get stronger and stronger because you just encourage. The way that we had that discussion about so many different things last night in the Red Lion, um, it, it was fascinating. It makes me want to go and do some more research on things because I don't like watching television. I just, that's not what I do. So it gives me another opportunity because I would never have... Was, did you were you the person with the art of war? I can't remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I mentioned that on a number of occasions, and I have mentioned that um, to people over in Amman. Yeah, it, it's not about war fighting. No, it's still, it's still core reading for military officers, even though it was written two and a half thousand years, years ago. ago. Yeah, because warfare doesn't change. Well, war the equipment changes, but the thought process. And yeah. how to win what, a war. What you're doing is but, the same. But it's also in business. Yes, it and, is. And I think it's core reading for any anyone who's in a certain level of business to understand strategy, to understand um, not necessarily the, the enemy, but your competitors. It, it's a combative situation well, it's, it's, in business, it, it, potentially. Yeah, but it's how you read it, isn't it? And how you, yeah. how you boil down those points uh, or or chunk it down or, or whatever it is you need to do to to and you have to analyze almost every sentence because it's only a small book yes it is and you have to analyze what Sun Tzu was thinking at the time and then relate it to today's language yeah or today's war fighting or today's business yeah um so <clears throat> art of war I think is a, is a great book yeah it is but where I've got that from is reading 15 minutes of useful articles every day. There you go. Um, and I, I teach this and I say, to, I say to them, imagine what your brain is like. Imagine what your decision making is like in a year if you were to read 15 minutes of useful articles. It's not the press because I don't trust the lamestream media. The journalists today aren't journalists. They're, they've got hidden agendas everywhere. I don't like the way that the world's going at the moment. I think it's, it's positively crap. But if you if you to fight through that and read fifteen minutes of academic useful articles, it doesn't matter what it's on. Because once if you read an academic article and you think, oh, I quite like that, I'll research this, or then I'll, and then before you know what's going on after a year, you've got a whole world of stuff in your head that at the right time, like can, I do, you, you can regurgitate, regurgitate it. it. Exactly, That's and then you have an opinion on it, which is born out by some other weirdo who's done um, actually some a academic... load of real work yeah yeah yeah, yeah. know a lot about um, whatever it is but don't know too much to think that you can't be wrong ah yes 
I don't know who that is either. Do you ever is? Sounds good. How do okay. We... But I'm going to miss you. I'm going to miss you too, mate. To be honest, oh, oh, you know it's been it's been great, and I'm. But I'm still going to call you. Yeah. Yeah, that's a thought, isn't it? <laughs> You're going to have to listen still. <laughs> no, of course I will. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd have loads of time. Loads of time, mm. but I am. No. But it's because you engage so deeply in stuff and you want to do, you're just so good at being good. You just want to be good. You want to be the best. And you know that's you. Yeah, it is, yeah. Yeah, it is. I don't, yeah. That... But you don't do it in a way that makes it that people don't like you, I don't think. Well, there's plenty of people that didn't like me. Wait, plenty. That, that's for a different reason. <laughs> No, and do you know what? They're, they're, I'm still. Um, there's people that, um, you know, junior ranks, the workers, yeah, that looked me up on LinkedIn, mm -hmm. and um, and I'm, I'm linked in with them, and I, for me, that's great. Mm -hmm. I don't know many many people who are in the same rank as me or a couple of ranks lower, but there are lots of the workers that have looked me up. Mm. And for me, I think that's that's success. If the lads want to still know you... And know what you're up to or whatever. Then I think that was the right thing to do. I think so too. And, you know, for those people that didn't do their job properly and they gave them a hard time, then so be it. But they're better for it. <laughs> well, no, it's not, it's not that. It's in leadership, you're responsible for the people that do the job. Yes. And if those in the, the, the middle ranking structure weren't doing the job and I gave them a hard time, then I gave them, I never gave the lads a hard time. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. So I see where you are. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The lads are lads. Yeah. I mean, if they did something wrong, then there's there's layers before it got to me. me. Yeah. 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 That, yeah, that's, yeah <coughs> that's the difference. Yeah. If it got to me, then they're, you know, then they're in serious trouble. Mm. But there's all, all those layers before it got to mm. me. Mm. So I generally got on with the lads and, and you know, I, I made some decisions that gave them all hard time, but not individually. But that's another thing that you have. You have the ability to communicate at all levels. Yeah. Yeah, I need to improve. Well, that... Yeah, well, we, we've sort of discussed some of that as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, but the the principle of it, you know what it is, yeah, and you yeah. know what the differences are, and you know what it is. And yeah. yeah. But the thing is, when I'm talking up, I, I'm expecting them to be able to perform, and if they can't perform, then I give them a hard time, and yeah. that's what gets me into trouble. Yeah, I know. I've done it myself lots of times. That's a bit confusing. Are you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your name, sir? Chris Mears. The one? That's him. This is him. Yes, 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 yes. Welcome. Okay. Generally, European people live. Where am I going? Through. Right. Yes. <laughs> You're just, just pointing at me. <laughs> I love it. Wow. I've heard the Imoza, no? In here? Is it free to park, Vrook? Yes. Today is Friday, everywhere is free sir. Anywhere? Yeah, anywhere. Yeah. Or even there? Yes. Under the, under the shade? Oh, no, sir. No, 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 no. See, I can't go under the shade. Before, it was open. I've got, I've got to go into the sun. 
And you know when there's not enough parking spaces, you never know where to park. But evening times is difficult, sir. All you people that liked boats, I thought I'd bring you to a place where there's some boats. Not quite the same boats, I might add. There are some sailing boats, there are some fishing boats. And there are some luxury boats. Boats, nevertheless. Different league out here, though, isn't it? Different league. All very nice. And I suspect staying in this marina is a little bit different to staying in Cropwoody Marina. Apparently, there are a thousand Amani Riels per bedroom. So, an Amani Riel, just double it. So, um, it's, well, it's a thousand Amani Riels equals two thousand pounds. And if you're from a different country, you'll just have to do the sums. I would suggest that's quite expensive. There's Varouk, look. Even the goats are in the shade, look. Varouk can't stand the heat. I don't know what's the matter with him. Comes from a hot country. Maybe he knows something that I don't. I. But I need to get out and take some photos and um, have a look around that fella over there. He's trying to get me to go on his boat. I get it. But I don't want to. Um, we're in Al Swadi Beach. It's about a hundred kilometers north or south, I don't know geographically, a hundred kilometers away from Muscat. I've got to get used to kilometers. I suppose it's about 75 mile. Lovely though. Sand's very hot. Look at that out there. And the other thing, you know, when you get into water in the UK, it's like a, ooh, not a chance over here. It is absolutely lovely. The water is like bath water. Honestly, I could go for a dip out here without that sharp intake of breath as it hits your nether regions. was me and Colin. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a heartfelt little bit of a chat. Um, I'm sure more, more adventures will happen. The more I go out to a man, the more I'm going to film that fella Varouk. Um, well, I want to take him out every week or every other week, perhaps, so he can show me all the sights of a man. Yes, he's Indian. Um, but he speaks the language far better than me. Uh, nice fella, Farouk, and he's a lonely fella that just works there because his wife lives in India and he goes to see her once a year. So great, uh, you know, nice fella. And um, anyway, it's a way of me getting to understand a man and helping him out. So there we go. Um, well, thanks for watching, thanks for liking, thanks for subscribing, those of you that have. Uh, don't forget the merch is available still although i'm struggling with doing too many things at once so although i do it you get the point okay um until next time ciao papa.